Variable acceleration, example 2, part 1, use Newton's second law, net force is equal to ma, therefore a is equal to f divided by m, and f is 20i, plus 80 T J then we divide this force vector by this 40 so we get the acceleration equal to half I plus 2 T J meter per second squared. Part 2 we find the velocity by integrating the acceleration equation. So integrate half i, we get half T i integrate 2 t we get t squared j plus the constant c so we are told when t is equal to 0 velocity is equal to this vector so we have 10 i minus 30 j t is 0, this is nothing, nothing plus c so therefore we get the velocity is equal to half t i plus t squared j plus the c which is 10 i minus 30 j. Now we put the i and j parts together so we get half t plus 10 si then we get t squared minus 30 this is the j part then next to it we can write meters per second. Part 3 we find the displacement back to by integrating the velocity vector Half t plus 10 i t squared minus 30 j so we get t squared plus 10 t then we get one third t cubed minus 30t plus the constant k then we are told when t is equal to 0 r is 20i minus 5j t is equal to 0, 0, so that's what k is. Therefore, r is equal to t squared plus 10 t r plus one third t cubed 
minus 30 t j then plus k which is 20 i minus 5 j now we have the i and j combined together so we have r t squared plus 10 t and we get 20 from here and plus one third t q minus 30 t then minus 5 that's all j that's all meters